the reinforcement tanks will clean this up. So Pure, he denied some mining here, but he's really got to back off. Okay, now he's backing off. Take out one supply depot and uh, got a lot of damage done. So Pure doing the right thing. He's actually expanding down at the 6 o'clock position at the same time while he's denying the SCV mining. So Pure, I'd say, is in a great position right now. Very, very good position. Adding even more gateways to the Arbiter Tribunal this time, so he's not going for carriers, he's going for Arbiters on this map. He'll be able to recall on top of all the bases. I'm pretty sure I saw Cal... Did Cal go against 4GG doing recall? No, it wasn't 4GG because their game on this map was very, very short, I believe. But I think it was Cal who d used a massive, massive recall strategy on this map. It was so, so impressive to watch. <laughs> All the pylons blocking the uh, 3 o'clock position. Nothing's going to get in there anytime soon. ton of gateways coming up now for Pure. Even more gateways. He's going to have such a huge army. And he's going to be able to replenish that army should he go for an attack on uh, everything from Flash. But this is, like I said, this is one of Flash's strategies strategies these days. And this is what I think he was talking about in inter interviews when he was talking about, yeah, I have a new strategy. New strategy for TVP. Everyone was like, is he going to use nukes? Is it nukes? Uh, I don't think it was that drastic. I think this is basically the strategy. Blocking everything with buildings. All of the positions that you can run by, just blocking that with buildings. That makes him a very defensive player, but so, so effective. Especially when you're dealing with a boneheaded Protoss player who just cut, tries to keep pushing no matter how many units or buildings are in the way. And we might see Pure try to do that soon. He's coming out with his Dragoons. Those gateways haven't kicked in just yet, but he is going to have Arbiter out soon. As soon as he has the Arbiter, I think he'll put on a little bit more pressure. But uh, Flash sticking at the three bases for now. This was actually his downfall against Movie, not being able to go for enough bases. But really, he doesn't quite have enough troops to push out right now. Looks like he's collecting his troops. He's unseizing his tanks, so he's getting ready to move out and try to take the remainder of the left side of the map. And this is a good timing to do this because Puri has reinforcements coming. Look at the pupils dilated from Flash. He knows this is a critical point in the game. He's got to secure his fourth base ASAP. And he might be able to do this a large amount of tanks. And if Pure tries to tackle this, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Even if he has an Arbiter in the area. All Dragoons. And no speed lots at all. These uh, Zealots are not speed upgraded. So he's going to have such trouble with the tanks. Even though Flash, he's still stuck out in the middle of the map right now. Dragoons moving up to the 12 o'clock position to take that out. So Flash has got to make a decision whether he wants to uh, chase the troops. Looks like he's going to go towards the 12 o'clock as it's being grinded down by Dragoons. A lot of Dragoons coming up to this position. They're all going to die, so Pure gotta take out that command center at all costs because he's gonna lose every single one of these Dragoons. He's boxing himself into a corner. Not focus firing. Come on, Pure. You gotta focus fire on that command center, at least the SCVs, because otherwise you're not gonna get anything done. Oh, doesn't get anything done with those Dragoons. I thought for sure those Dragoons were going to be the doom of that 12 o'clock, but it looks like the 12 o'clock is fine. Pure kind of nestled into a corner up there. He's not going to be able to get much more done. Might be able to snipe one tank. Snipes one tank, doing the best he can before being completely surrounded by everything. Pure is expanding like crazy, and this is great for him. Now that he put down so many gateways, he's going to be able to support them with all the bases he's putting down. Putting down another base up at the uh, 2 o'clock position. So as long as he defends these bases, Pure is going to be able to win this game. Let's see if he can get this done. He does have speed lots now, so that's going to help him drill through these uh, vultures. Plenty of vultures out. There's one stasis from Pure over a lot of tanks. About four tanks caught in that stasis. That's exactly what he wanted to do. Keep those Dragoons alive as long as possible. Still, let's see that the shuttle can drop on top of these tanks a little bit more. Pure forced to back off a little bit. I'm surprised he didn't have the amount of troops he needed to break through that. I thought uh, with all those gateways that he had, he'd be able to break through that no problem. Looks like he's just had kind of a low number of speed loss to help him push through the tank line. But Flash going towards the 3 o'clock position. Let's see if he can take this down. Laying mines is going to make it so hard to break through this. But I don't think Pure is going to let this slide unless he's going for a counterattack. Is that what he's doing? I think Pure might be going for the counterattack on Flash. I don't think this is the best idea. Even though he expanded all over the place, Flash's defense is just so, so strong, especially if he's taking the high ground like this. So Flash has <laughs> Supply Depot in the middle of the map for even more blocking.
And there is Pure dragging the mines. Beautiful mine drag from Pure over all of the tanks that were harassing that base over at the 3 o'clock. So Pure doing wonderfully now. He's expanded all over the place. Expanded at the 2 o'clock. Now he has the uh, 8 o'clock base up and running. But he's still got to protect that 3 o'clock. He's got to just grind down the amount of troops that Flash has. If he keeps the troop count low, he's going to be able to win this game because he'll be able to out-pump Flash, basically get more reinforcements out there. He's about 20 population over Flash at the moment. So let's see what Flash can do. Okay, Pure uh, still harassing that 12 o'clock, but he's really got to take down that command center to really make that worth it. He failed to do that earlier. And now there's a single vulture denying the mining at the 3 o'clock, so that's not good. He's got to get rid of that soon. Vultures in there. Don't let the vultures snipe the Nexus. That's ridiculous. But still, the command center didn't go down at the 12 o'clock. And I think a lot of troops might have gone down up there too. But now Pure really has troops to spread all over the map. He needs to bring them together for one big attack. Looks like he has his reinforcements moving into the middle now. Um, he has this base protected with Dark Templar, so it looks like he's going to be able to hold that 6 o'clock no problem. But mines dragging in everything, dragging into the probes that were transferring up to the, uh, I think, back to the 3 o'clock positions of Flash just camping out uh, down here at the natural expansion. Pure, what are you doing? Oh, man, Pure, this is not good for Pure. If Flash pushes through the natural expansion, he's going to be able to take this. Ridiculously enough, as ridiculous as that sounds with the amount of bases that Pure has, he cannot... Oh man, come on Pure. Pure's got to put down gateways at one of his other bases to survive this attack because Flash is just still ag aggressively committing to this. Has mines all over the place. All kinds of mines dragging into Pure. This is so, so horrible. I can't even believe this. Flash might be able to take this game even with a huge economic disadvantage just because Pure, his natural expansion completely undefended now. No more troops out for Pure as he's being completely pushed. What the hell happened in this game? Oh, Flash still from three bases. Uh, keeping all of his tanks alive is definitely the crucial part here. Look at the amount of minerals that Pure is taking in. Uh, no more troops to the protect that 12 o'clock base, so if Pure can take that down, that'll be better for him. But he's got to start uh, thinking ahead now. Got to start building uh, more gateways at a different location, which I think he's doing. I think he's building gateways down at uh, 8 o'clock and maybe at the 2 o'clock position as well. No, he's building mostly... Uh, cannons, but he is rebuilding his gateways. Thankfully for him, he's rebuilding those. So as long as he rebuilds those, I think he'll be okay. But now some tanks coming in. Even more harassment from Flash at the 3 o'clock position. This is not good. This is just a vice grip clamping down on Pure right now. Not able to mine at all of his bases. And that is going to be, that could be his downfall here. Just lost his natural expansion. He's going to lose all of his gateways inside of his main because he can't uh, group up enough troops to really break through that contain at the natural Flash continuing to push now, uh, and he's building turrets there, so he's uh, committed to staying there for the long haul. Focus firing on the Nexus at the 6 o'clock. He takes that down. He's taken down two bases right now, Flash has, so if he starts building his fourth, Flash could get back into this game. This is ridiculous now. Pure trying to push out and do something. Coming out with the Dark Templar being scanned though. Flash looks like he's in the know. Tries to focus fire on the High Templar there. It's a ridiculous amount of multitasking from both of these guys right now. But Flash, I think he's bringing the most multitasking to this game. He might be able to take out that 3 o'clock position with his vultures. Just two vultures. I don't see a way that Pure will be able to defend that as uh, oh man, some more probes running away. I'm not sure where those probes were going. I guess they were transferring to another base or something something. The Flash, he knows about the 8 o'clock now. There's a Dark Templar to defend, but he's going to scan and get rid of that soon enough. Knowing Flash, he's going to get rid of that very, very soon. So Flash still at three bases. He's cannot, not committed to his fourth at all. And oh man, another stasis from Pure, but Flash building supply depots. Oh, nice block from him with buildings, just making it so difficult to run by and get to those tanks. Oh no, Flash, he's pushing the 8 o'clock position as well. The head nod from Pure. He's like, what? What? GG. From Pure. Ah. Man, I can't. I don't know what, what went wrong in that game because Pure should have had plenty of troops that is natural to defend that with the amount of bases he put up. He had three-fourths of the map. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And Flash never got his fourth base at all. Man, I am stunned. Stunned, stunned, stunned. Well, Pure, that might have been your best shot right there. 
and you gave it a college try, but man, 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 man. Okay, moving on to the third set. 